maillot. Hey, ok, ah. ouais, j'ai fait. Paul Simbarati, as you lead the Kwamba last year, how much token was given to the winning team, and we informed him that it was 100,000. He said he will double that amount. Two, 200,000 that I will, is in my phone right away now that will go to the winners through the year. I'm the Vice President of the Law Society of Kenya. Today we are having games at Kisi Grounds. This is the first time the Law Society has devolved the games from Nairobi to other branches. And this is just an opportunity for advocates to come together and wind. Both um, practicing advocates, those in Senate, in the Office of the Attorney General, the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution, amongst others, all in the justice system for just us to commune as a family, to play together as a team, and to be able to enjoy some time together. We know the hassles and stresses of work, and so the Law Society normally organizes this once a year for, to bring people together, um, play, have fun, and also distress. Yes. President of the Law Society, at the onset we want to say that we are disappointed by the decision that was given by the Court of Appeal because uh, the court is aware that the matter is still a uh, subject of litigation in the High Court. And uh, in uh, those kind of cases, the Court of Appeal it should restrain itself until the High Court has had the case and determined the case on its merits. But what it has done is to render the case in the High Court almost an academic exercise. Because these taxes then will be levied if the High Court agrees that uh, the tax finance bill uh, does not meet the legal threshold, then uh, the process of reversing the effects of uh, implementation of the Finance Act will be extremely burdensome to each and every one of us. Uh, we are seeing this as a lack of uh, independence and bravery from the Court of Appeal, that uh, they have bowed to pressure because we have seen statements from the executive uh, that have, uh, uh, we, which we have interpreted as veiled threats to the court uh, that uh, uh, they are standing in the way of uh, the development of the country. And so we are extremely, extremely disappointed by that decision and uh, uh, we just hope that when the case eventually comes up for hearing, before the High Court, that the High Court will have uh, much more to apply the law uh, to the facts that are, are there. As a law society, we'll also uh, uh, be on Monday, we'll be making an application, allow the Court of Appeal, the High Court, the three bench, to determine the case before it can make that decision. But they have uh, made the decision that they have, and uh, the most we can say at this time is that we are disappointed that the Court of Appeal uh, made that decision that goes against precedent and that goes against uh, good order and, and, and you know what you would call common sense uh, in terms of even the previous decisions that the Court of Appeal has made in such instances. Thank you. And maybe uh, we have seen the opposition accusing the police of uh, 
started it. Uh, remember yesterday we had a we had a we had a mass. Remember those who, who those who lost their lives during uh, demonstrations. Maybe uh, sellers came. What's your position on this? No, we, we just uh, hope that uh, the independent institutions that have been set up to oversight the police will carry out their mandates to ensure that uh, uh, there is accountability for any uh, abuse of uh, either authority or power to arrest and or use of uh, force in circumstances that uh, the law does not uh, uh, allow the use of force or the disproportionate use of force. Uh, so those, we hope that those institutions would be able to do that. As a law society, we are also um, covering. We, are, we have a team of pro bono lawyers across the country who are meeting the victims and uh, recording statements. And if there is no action that is taken, then uh, depending on uh, the findings that we will make, we will be able to uh, take the necessary action uh, as uh, by law provided. All right, thanks.